welcome to Southwest London TV. My name is Pierre Jackson and tonight we are very honoured to be reporting to you from the Hyatt Regency in London for the launch of How to Do Business in Angola, an investment guide to investing and doing business in one of the fastest growing economies. It is time to see the star of tonight's events and author of How to Do Business in Angola for a private interview, it's Rick Adinha. It is so very lovely to meet you. Thank you for letting us be a part of your evening. I understand that um, you are one of the friends of South West London TV from the Wandsworth Chamber of Commerce, is that right? Yes, I am indeed. I am a member of the Wandsworth Chambers of Commerce for quite a while now. And do you have two or three tips or key ideas that you think are the most important basis for your book? Oh yes, um, before you even start doing business in Angola you need to think, you need to find out whether your product, your service or your business model fits in the country's um, requirements and needs. There's lots of resources in Angola and um, Angola has many or numerous opportunities for investment but it doesn't mean that it's the right, they are the right ones for your business and that you also should have a local partner. Without a local partner you are bound to fail and you need to address the language barrier. Angola is a Portuguese speaking country and just because uh, English is the commercial language don't assume that everybody in Angola speaks English. This is Sunil. Sunil, very lovely to meet you. Tell us what brings you here this evening. I did a course with Riccadino last year, and so I know her very well. And in fact, we were writing our books at the same time. I've always found Riccadino to be a very fascinating individual. Um, she's a fellow professional. I met her in the course of legal practice in the United Kingdom. And from the moment that I met her, somebody whose first language was not uh, English, uh, but running a successful practice in England, aroused my curiosity. This is Christiane. Christiane, it's very lovely to meet you. Tell us a little bit about why you're here. Oh, yes, yeah, I'm very glad to be here today because uh, Ricardina is a very important person in a Portuguese speaker's community and um, I'm managing a newspaper for Portuguese speakers here in London and we are trying to attract people to discuss um, the relevant topics for us, Portuguese speakers, and uh, business as well. Africa is very important for us. Well, what a wonderful evening it has been. In the true spirit of celebration, we have had drinks we have had nibbles and we have even had live music. It is fantastic to see one of Southwest London entrepreneurs doing so very well. And if you want to find out more about her book, then please go onto Amazon and type in how to do business in Angola. My name is Pia Jackson and this is Southwest London TV.